Welcome back to the Morning Brew. You know, we decided, since we're going to have a little cocktail party here, we might as well keep the party pro around. And she, you know, we twisted her arm. Hey, we're going to make some drinks. Would you like to stay? Oh, no. Don't let me stay. So Tiffany's going to stay. Uh, Greg is our co-host this week, but he is the managing editor of SimpleCocktails.com, SimpleCocktails.net. And we're going to make some cocktails just like you do on your website. Yeah, I mean, what what would be the point of me being here if we weren't making cocktails? <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start off with one that, uh, let's let's make this the most popular cocktail in Albuquerque this year. Yes, okay. Let's. We've we've, come, we've done it on our website. We've done it uh, on our podcast, which actually the episode comes out today on yeah. the podcast where we do it. So we're going to do it on TV now. And I, I've heard a rumor that maybe you're doing it at we are. a cocktail party. So we that's, are. that's pretty great. So uh, this... This first cocktail is called, called a black martini, and it only has two ingredients. So talk about simple. It's very simple. Uh, there's a sort of funny thing that um, I've been doing for my Halloween cocktails, and that's uh, taking some sugar. I have a, just a plate of sugar, and then taking some aromatic cocktail bitters, which you can find at any grocery store. Uh, the cool thing about these is they have a bit of a copper color to them. And so when you actually give some dashes to the sugar, it starts to turn your regular kind of white sugar orange, and which looks really cool rimmed around a uh, Halloween cocktail. So let's give it a little stir, and now we start ending up with this kind of orange, orange sugar, which we're going to use to rim the black martini. Yeah, you can you can get yellow sugar out there in the liquor store, but you can't find orange. That's so right. You make your own. So you can make it yourself, and this this tastes really good um, because it adds just that little element of bitters too. So uh, black sambuca is a liqueur. It's an Italian liqueur. Uh, it's often added to coffee. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the traditional way to do it. And so we are going to use this as this is an ingredient to the black martini. This is how we're going to rim our glasses with sugar. So I have a plate with just some black sambuca, and then I have a plate of our Halloween sugar. I'm just going to put our glasses downward into the sambuca and then go into the sugar with it, get a little scoop, scoop, scoop. And now we have these beautiful Halloween uh, rimmed glasses that we're going to put our black martini in. I love how easy you're making this look and feel. Yeah. That you can really do something you do this at spectacular home. at yeah. home. Yeah. 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 So time to make the black martini. Like I said, it's two ingredients. It's vodka and it's black sambuca. And so what we're going to do is do uh, two ounces of vodka. So I'm going to pour that in a mixing glass here two ounces and then we'll do one ounce of black sambuca now just so you know what to expect flavor wise black sambuca tastes quite a bit like licorice so if that's something you don't like we may have to find a different cocktail for you <laughs> so uh, two ounces of vodka and an ounce of black sambuca the cool thing is this stuff is really black looking it it has a, a very nice uh, black even when it kind of lightens up in the vodka it still looks like a nice dark gray Ooh, or black. it looks scary i yeah, love <laughs> your, your scientific beakers too that that's right this great is way to science make yeah. yeah so uh that's all we do is we stir it it's two ounces of vodka one ounce of black sambuca there's not much to it we stir it up uh any drink that doesn't have citrus or doesn't have cream you should stir instead of shaking because it makes it crystal clear, as you see here. Ooh, that's so a black martini. James Look Bond at that. Lie when he said chicken. He did it wrong. Okay. He did it wrong. And I'm sorry to say, James Bond did it wrong. So, because we have an extra guest, Tiffany's going to get to try the black martini. I've tried oh. it before. So, go ahead and have a drink Thank of the black you. martini. Happy Halloween. Cheers. Yeah. Happy Halloween. So the black martini recipe, uh, nice. again, is sugar that good? really mm -hmm. makes it good. It does. Yeah. So the sugar adds something to that, to that bite. So there we go, uh, two ounces of vodka and an ounce of black sambuca. And then you just rim the glass with this bittered Halloween That's fun, isn't that it? I made, it is so. fun. And it has that kind of Halloween candy-ish yeah, feel and flavor to yep. it. Really I, I use like a natural sugar, so it's kind of grainy mm -hmm. and gritty. So it, yeah. it does it a have nice a little bit of a candy. Feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. All right, so the next one we're going to make, this one is 
pretty much a very traditional cocktail with one extra ingredient that makes it very Halloween-y. Okay. So this is a gin martini, uh, but we add one other ingredient which turns it into a different cocktail called an obituary. So of course an obituary <laughs> you would have to make for Halloween. So uh, just in case you've never made a gin martini, let's, let's go over it. So a gin martini, uh, which many people would say is the traditional martini. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a gin martini is um, four or five parts of gin to one part of vermouth. So in this recipe, we're gonna do two and a half ounces of gin. Let's see, where's my ounces? There they are. And how and do you half. choose which gin and which spirits you like to use in your drinks? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's a great question. I, I think a lot of times uh, you have to just try a lot of, mm. of gins. I'm a big fan of gin, and so I've tried a lot of different gins. The one I'm using now is a, it's called Dry Fly. It's from, uh, it's from Washington. Right. And it's, it's um, what they would call a new American Western gin, which means it's much less like the British gins that have kind of that bite to them. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's more toned down. It's a little more floral. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's yeah. It it just you sort of have to try some different gins. My friend recommends that you go to a bar and just say, you know, can I have like a third of a glass of different things, and then uh -huh. then you don't have to buy Taste fifteen them. bottles and see what you think. So right. so all we've made now in this glass is uh, we could stir this and we would have a gin martini. So it's two and a half ounces of gin and half an ounce of dry vermouth. Okay. Uh, but now we get to make it uh, an obituary now. Absinthe is a uh, very uh, traditional French uh, li liquor. Uh, it was out outlawed in the United States until 2007. Because nope. they, wow. yeah, they believed that absinthe caused hallucinations and made you crazy. Perfect so, for an obituary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. It's a high alcohol. Green, right? Usually it's green. This yeah. is Tennyson, which is marketed by a company in Texas, and it's one of the few uh, clear absinths. It's, it's my understanding that, I think it's Sweden, most of their absinths are clear. And if you drink it the traditional way with the sugar cube and everything, it mm -hmm. still clouds up just like the green ones. Mm. Uh, but this is a clear absinthe which, which makes the uh, obituary look really cool. Now absinthe is really strong. It has yeah. a high percentage of li liquor. So all we're gonna do is splash a little bit in our gin martini. That's probably, wow. oh, it's probably a quarter of an ounce, maybe. Right. Uh, I'm going to put our glasses up here, and we're going to give this a stir and make an obituary. So would you do any type of rim on this glass or any other additions, or is this a clean? No rim, yeah. And, it, and I'll show you. We're going to garnish it with a lemon uh, with a lemon twist here in oh, just a nice. second. So we'll stir our, this is our gin martini. It's so easy to make these at home. I know I, it is. It's so special. So this yeah. is an obituary. Let me get some equal... And it just has a little bit of a cloud to it from the absinthe. When absinthe gets cold, it starts to turn a little cloudy. Uh, but the reason you stir these is they stay nice and nice and clear like this. Now, uh, like I said, to garnish these, we're going to use a lemon twist. And this is what's called a channel knife. It's actually made to pull. You can see, can you see that lemon juice just spraying off the... Yeah. Oh, you hold it, it smells over the glass, fantastic. Right? Yep, you hold it over the glass as you garnish it. You give yourself a little lemon twist, and we can just drop it right in the glass. That's but beautiful. Part of the garnish on this is just getting that lemon juice to spray across the top. And there we go. A couple of obituaries. Uh -huh. The lemon going to bring out the floral of the gin? I it guess? does, yeah. It, it just gives a nice little uh, oil layer on the top of the wow, drink. Wow, that smells so. I know, it smells awesome. Happy Cheers. Halloween again, yeah, right. Tiffany. Happy Halloween. So the obituary is a gin martini with a splash of absinthe. Ooh, so that, like that is yeah? my favorite. So that is, that is fantastic. Isn't it great? Really good. delicious. And, and if you go with these American gins, That's there's like good. Aviation is from Portland. There's Dry Fly is from Seattle. Uh, there's Genius Gin from uh, Texas, Austin. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, a lot of those American gins, if you've tried gin before and you think, I hate this stuff, it tastes like pine trees, right. go <laughs> buy an American gin yeah, because they have a, a very it's different, a different taste. flavor. Yeah. And I know that you can barely taste a little bit of the absinthe, just a little lingering of it, but it's very clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, that's a good word. Uh, refreshing, it's clean. Mm -hmm. We don't even nice. need to brush our teeth this morning. No, we no we're done. <laughs>
All right, so that's it. I mean, two Halloween the cocktails for you. Yeah, black Ooh. martini and the obituary. These are easy to make, so I want to hear uh, from you guys that you made them at home. And there we go. It got kind of scary outside our window here. It I don't did. know what happened. A scary cocktail. Did we move into a different dimension here? Yeah. I have news for you about the obituary, Larry. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Some Halloween cocktails for your party coming up. And uh, Tiffany, thanks for staying. Yo, thanks. Yeah. I, cheers to you both yeah. this morning. Cheers. We're going to uh, continue in, on the brew in just a moment and take you bird watching after this.